Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part six of this living flex hinge. As I stated yesterday, I went out in the shop and cut it out. And if you don't haven't been following along, it's uh, making kind of like a lock joint. It didn't work out perfectly. It it does it does work, and it does keep it together. And uh, it's amazing how the picture makes the wood look so rough, but. I would suggest making it actually a little bit, a uh, little bit more tight. But also, when it's something, it is, it's tight. It's holding it together. But if you would lay it down upside down and put just a drop of CA glue or uh, super glue on that joint, if you're not going to want to take it apart, some of these things you want to be able to take a point apart. So yesterday I showed in the video how to test, and I did. It was actually a little bit loose. So I redid it. So I thought, you know, once you've got this done, it's kind of difficult to redo this and make this just a little bit bigger, but it's really not. You just need to think about a couple of things and we'll, we'll just do one real quick. And if you didn't watch, you know, the other parts, you might want to watch that. So I'm just taking a two point line and I'm just connecting that joint. So that way, when I get the smart fill tool, I can fill in that area right there and, and nudge it over and do the same thing. And if you nudge, you can always nudge it right back. So what's nice about this, now you can take the uh, virtual segment delete key and delete this part. Well, actually, let's back up here because this is already finished. I need to delete that part and that part. And then I can go back in, and I'm just going to do one of them. Just take a two point line and draw a line from there. That way I can remove that line. So this is only if you were gonna um, have to do it again. So we're gonna take that piece and just knock it out. Now on this piece, I'm gonna left click, right click. And it was just a little bit too uh, loose. So I'm gonna go to effects and contour again. And I, I went ahead and contoured again another 0 0.003, because this part is so small. So I did it to the outside. You can see how much difference it is. Select it all. A lot of times you have to select it all. Go up to object and break the contour part and then grab the inside and mark it out of the way. Now this is our new one. So I'm gonna bring it, nudge it right back. And you can see it actually contoured to of the other line a little bit. Now we can take this virtual segment delete key and you're always gonna have a little bit of nib there. And then I would strong and do both of them. I'm not gonna do both of them. And well, I am, cause I'm actually gonna send this file to the young lady I'm trying to help and have her cut it out and see if it works for her. So draw a line, take your item, left click, no feel, right click, feel. And we're going to contour in red. That way, if you, you always know that you're doing it right. Go up to object and break the contour part. I always grab the center and it does that. Now we can take away, we can actually take away this and take our line because it's not welded or connected. Just take it away. And then I can just nudge this back and then just cut this line out. And then I would strongly suggest cutting out this little bit of nib, uh, just excess uh, nib, you don't need it. Anyway, and then I would strongly suggest to either weld this or combine it together. So when you move it along, so we're just gonna take and select it all. And you can actually weld it and weld all the parts together. And then it won't come apart when you're moving around your screen you know, getting it in your laser. And just another thing, this is, these pieces are pretty small. I would suggest, well, I'm just gonna show you what I did this morning. Cause I like to sand, you can see this has been sanded. So let's say you cut it out right there and you've already tested your joints. And also I'm, I'm gonna remove that cause I noticed that when I was playing, I've got a little bitty line right there. And whenever you select and you see that it's more than other, other stuff, just break the curve apart, then grab that and, and delete it. 
And then you could go back and weld this back. And then you're good to go. Now, the what I was going to show you, so if you wanted to cut this out and sand it, which you need to do, with it selected, if you hold down the shift key and double click your rectangle tool, it puts a rectangle around your work. And then you can grab that rectangle and holding down the shift key, it'll make it, well, you don't really have to do that, but just make the rectangle a little bit bigger. So then when you take it over your sander, and then I would <clears throat> put blue tape on it and tape it on this side, sand on the other side, uh, then tape it on this side and sand the other side. This will keep it from, because this is, you know, it's a bunch of flex joints. So if the sander hit it wrong, it would uh, possibly break it. But if you have this border, it'll sand really nice. And then you just take it out of the rectangle and go on your way. So it's a pretty cool bangle, bracelet, cup holder. And if you make this joint just a little bit tighter, I mean, it's holding it together. It's doing its job. Uh, the, the bones are actually a little bit small to do a great job, but it's unique. It looks pretty good. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.